In uh, fluid flow measurements, we will encounter different terms used to describe pressure, uh, such as pressure, static pressure, dynamic pressure, stagnation pressure, and total pressure. Let's try to sort these out and clarify what each term means. We can identify pressure at any point in the fluid whether that fluid is moving or stationary. Now the term static pressure is the same as pressure. So if you see the term pressure, you can safely assume that it refers to static pressure. Now the static pressure or pressure can be measured with a pressure sensor, such as a Bourdon tube or a mercury column. So here we have a tank uh, with uh, a certain fluid, let's say it's water, and we are interested in determining uh, the uh, pressure or static pressure at location A. And we can determine that pressure if we know the depth of that location A in the tank from the top surface of water. Now we can also write static pressure as rho times G times Z, where rho is the density of the fluid, in this case it is water, G is the acceleration due to gravity, and Z is the depth of that location from the top surface. Now in case of a flowing fluid in a pipe, as seen here in the diagram, every point in the fluid has a certain pressure associated to it. As we also said, that the term pressure and static pressure are the same. So why do we call it static pressure? Well, if we had a pressure sensor at a certain location which is moving with the fluid at the same velocity as the fluid, then the fluid will appear stationary to that sensor and the pressure that will be measured by that sensor will be the static pressure. So that is where the term static comes from. So how do we measure it? Well, the steps involve first drilling a small hole in the pipe and making sure that there are no burrs or uh, any imperfections uh, where the hole is drilled so it does not cause any uh, disturbance to the fluid flow. And then we will attach a small tube that is often called a piezometric tube. What will happen is that the fluid that is flowing in the pipe will also move into the tube and it will rise a certain height when it will come to rest. So pressure at location 1 we will denote as P1 that will equal rho times G times Z1 plus rho times G times Z2 plus P3 where P3 is the atmospheric pressure and as we see in the diagram Z2 is the height to which the fluid rose in the tube and Z1 is the location of point 1 to point 2. There is another term that you have seen before called the gauge pressure. That is the pressure above atmospheric pressure assuming that the atmospheric pressure is 0. So if we consider P3 to be 0 then we can express pressure P1 as gauge pressure and it will be P1 equals rho times G times Z1 plus Z2 and Z1 plus Z2 is the total height from location 1 to the height that the fluid rose in the piezometric tube. So we can call that Z3. So P1 equals rho times G times Z3. So this is how we can measure static pressure at any location. So next uh, Let's look at the three other terms we had for pressure, the dynamic pressure, stagnation pressure, and total pressure. Now interestingly, these are essentially concepts. These are not pressures that you can actually measure with a pressure sensor. Only the static pressure or pressure can be measured with a pressure sensor. These uh, three terms, they appear due to Bernoulli equation. So recall that in case of Bernoulli equation, you may want to look at the uh, tutorial on that topic. 
for an incompressible fluid and if we ignore the changes in elevation we can write Bernoulli equation as P plus 1 over 2 rho V square equals a constant and we can call that P T. So this first P pressure is the static pressure. The second term represents a dynamic pressure that is uh, 1 over 2 rho V square where dynamic pressure is the result of the velocity of that fluid and PT is what is called the total pressure and also it is called the stagnation pressure. So the terms stagnation pressure and total pressure mean the same thing. So along every point on a streamline in the moving fluid, static pressure and dynamic pressure may change. But the total or the stagnation pressure always remains constant. Next we will consider stagnation pressure. So how do we measure the stagnation pressure which is also called total pressure? We drill a, again a small hole in the pipe and we place a small tube that is bent at 90 degrees as shown in the diagram. So again as the fluid enters this tube it will rise to a certain height and then it will come to rest. So now we have a case of a flowing fluid in the pipe and when that fluid comes to location 4 the velocity of the fluid at location 4 will be 0 since the fluid in the tube has come to a rest. Therefore for location 4 where the velocity of the fluid is 0 we call it stagnant in other words it's not moving and at location 4 then the pressure is called stagnation pressure and also total pressure. Now if we use Bernoulli equation we have in this pipe location 1 where the static pressure was measured with the piezometric tube and location 4 where we are measuring the stagnation pressure with this uh, tube that is bent at 90 degrees. So if we use Bernoulli equation between locations 1 and 4 we can write the equation as follows P1 over rho where rho is the density and P1 is the pressure at location 1 plus U1 square divided by 2G again U1 is the velocity at location 1 equals P4 over rho P4 will be the pressure at location 4 plus U4 square divided by 2G where U4 is the velocity at location 4 and since we said that that velocity is 0 since the fluid has become stagnant at that location uh, that term will be 0. So we will be left with P4 equals P1 plus rho U1 square divided by 2G where P4 is the total or stagnation pressure, P1 is the static pressure and the last term there with the velocity is the dynamic pressure. Note that the dynamic pressure is due to the fluid's kinetic energy. So this uh, equation can also be written in words as total or stagnation pressure equals the static pressure plus dynamic pressure. So hopefully this has helped you to uh, clarify in your mind what are these different pressures. Uh, note that pressure or static pressure is something we can measure with a sensor and those two terms mean the same thing. Then we have the dynamic pressure which is due to the fluid's kinetic energy or its velocity and also we have the total or stagnation pressure uh, that is due to the reason that the fluid at that point has come to stagnation or its velocity is zero.